Well, I think um, the actions uh, we saw the ECB take last year were always going to take a little bit of time to uh, fully work their way into the markets. Uh, the uh, asset-backed security purchasing scheme, the targeted LTROs, uh, and maybe it's only uh, going to be in this first quarter that we'll start to feel the benefits of this. Uh, markets had certainly been factoring in some sort of quantitative easing uh, policy being introduced by the ECB. Um, and uh, as keen as they were to see it, I think the fact that we're seeing multi-year highs in a number of the equity indices maybe reflects uh, a more buoyant market mindset that's uh, prevalent in Europe at the moment. Uh, undoubtedly, uh, the, uh, the fact that there wasn't a, a complete uh, uh, agreement on this ECB uh, uh, policy is uh, no real surprises. Uh, the fact that it's uh, most likely to have been Germans, uh, German politicians who are the most reluctant to uh, embark upon this is no real surprise. Uh, I guess um, it'll potentially be a, a bit of a thorn in the side of this policy uh, going forwards. But, um, I think this will develop as the, the years tick on. It's worth remembering when we look across at uh, the US, uh, the fact that the Fed spent the best part of six years um, on a quantitative easing policy, and they ended up having a, a number of different phases. Uh, that seems likely to be the case uh, in uh, Europe as well. Well, I think we're certainly seeing a confidence effects already being factored into the market. As I say, uh, multi-year highs on a number of European equity indices, uh, the DAX are setting record highs as well. Um, it's certainly boosting confidence and it has been factored into the markets. Uh, the fact that uh, the uh, actual policy doesn't start until March uh, is maybe um, not the worst of things, uh, giving the markets uh, a little bit more time to fully absorb it. Um, as I say, I, it's Speculation on trading floors is already rife about what phase two of this might well mean um, and could we see the, uh, the monthly 60 billion uh, being spent, um, maybe increasing to say 80 billion. I think that'll be a topic of conversation that will escalate as we see the, uh, the picture around Europe develop over the course of this year. Still quite a few uh, question marks to be answered, uh, Greek elections uh, uh, out with.